And those are some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. And welcome to all of our listeners and viewers around the country and around the world. Well, Senator John McCain is virtually assured the Republican presidential nomination following Thursday's departure of his closest rival, former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney. Romney made the announcement before the Conservative Political Action Conference, CPAC, in Washington, D.C. Now, if I fight on in my campaign all the way to the convention, I reckon... I want you to know, I'm giving this a lot of thought, I'd forestall the launch of a national campaign. And frankly, I'd be making it easier for Senator Clinton or Obama to win. <laughs> frankly, in this time of war, I simply cannot let my campaign be a part of aiding a surrender to terror. <laughs> this isn't an easy decision. I hate to lose. My family, my friends, you, my supporters across the country, you've given a great deal to get me where I have a shot to becoming president. If this were only about me, I'd go on. But it's never been only about me. I entered this race, I entered this race because I love America. And because I love America, in this time of war, I feel I have to now stand aside for our party and for our country. You guys are great. <laughs> I will continue to stand for conservative principles. I'll fight alongside you for all the things we believe in. And one of the things we believe in is that we cannot allow the next president of the United States to retreat in the face of evil extremism. Romney bows out after a disappointing showing in Tuesday's primaries, including a loss in the coveted state of California, where he recently led polls. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee and Congress Member Ron Paul are still in the race, but far behind McCain and delegates and popular support. McCain will get another boost at today's CPAC meeting, where, where President Bush is expected to implicitly endorse his campaign. According to excerpts released by the White House, Bush plans to tell the audience, quote, soon we will have a nominee who will carry the conservative banner into this election and beyond. After Romney's speech, McCain took the same stage with an appeal to the Republican right-wing base. Surely, I have held other positions that have not met with widespread agreement from conservatives. I won't pretend otherwise, nor would you permit me to forget it. <laughs> on, the, on the issue of illegal immigration, a position which... Which, a position which obviously still provokes the outspoken opposition of many conservatives, I stood my ground aware that my position would imperil my campaign. I respect your opposition, for I know that the vast majority of critics to the bill base their opposition in a principled defense of the rule of law. While I and other Republican supporters of the bill were genuine in our intention to restore control of our borders, we failed, for various and understandable reasons, to convince Americans that we were. I accept that, and I have pledged that it would be among my highest priorities to secure our borders first. To secure our borders first. after we have achieved widespread consensus that our borders are secure, would we address other aspects of the problem in a way that defends the rule of law and does not encourage another wave of illegal immigration? But in what could be an indication of the difficulties he may face appealing to some Republican voters, McCain was booed as he dis discussed undocumented immigration. I will start by making the Bush tax cuts permanent. I 
I will cut corporate tax rates from 35 to 25 percent to keep industries and jobs in this country. I will end. I will end the alternate minimum tax, and I won't let a Democratic Congress raise your taxes and choke the growth of our economy. They will offer a big government solution to health care insurance coverage. I intend to address the problem with free market solutions and with respect for the freedom of individuals to make important choices for themselves. They will, they will appoint to the federal bench judges who are intent on achieving political changes that the American people cannot be convinced to accept through the election of their representatives. I intend to nominate judges who have proven themselves worthy of our trust, that they take as their sole responsibility the enforcement of laws made by the people's elected representatives. <laughs> judges. Judges of the character and quality of justices Roberts and Alito, justices who can be relied upon to respect the values of the peoples whose rights, laws, and property they are sworn to defend. <laughs> Senator, Senator Clinton and Senator Obama will withdraw our forces from Iraq based on an arbitrary timetable designed for the sake of political expediency and which recklessly ignores the profound human calamity and dire threats to our security that would ensue. I, I intend to win the war and trust in the proven judgment of our commanders there and the courage and selflessness of the Americans they have the honor to command. For more on the Republican nomination, we're joined from Washington, D.C. by Michael Tomaski, editor of Guardian America, the American website of the British newspaper, The Guardian, also a frequent contributor to the New York Review of Books. We welcome you to Democracy Now!, Michael Tomaski. Uh, can you start off by talking about the significance of Romney, well, not exactly dropping out, and maybe you can explain this, but suspending his campaign? Well, <clears throat> you know, he, he suspended his campaign, but I think, uh, you know, there are a lot of candidates down through history who are still running suspended campaigns, so I think he's done. I think they're starting to disconnect the phones. Um, <clears throat> you know, Romney never caught on. Uh, he changed his message four or five different times over the course of the campaign. I remember the most sort of comical one to me was when, when he noticed, when everybody noticed, that uh, Barack Obama's message of change started to catch on. Uh, Romney started to say, hey, I'm for change, too, and change became a part of his slogan and the banner behind him. And, uh, you know, the odd, to say the least, soundbite that you played from him, where he seemed to suggest that he was getting out of this race, excuse me, suspending his campaign, uh, <clears throat> so that uh, we wouldn't be subject to another terrorist attack or he wouldn't uh, have that hanging over his head. Uh, I think that's weird even to conservatives. And uh, he had a habit of statements like that. The most notable one, I think, was from last summer or fall, it was, when a citizen in Iowa asked him, you have five draft-age sons. If you're so gung-ho about the war, why aren't any of them in service? And he said, well, they're serving their country by uh, helping to elect me president, uh, as if, you know, the willingness to suffer a paper burn stuffing envelopes was the same thing as the willingness to get blown to bits halfway around the world. So, you know, he had a history of these kinds of things. He never caught on and uh, never really established a connection with any of the important conservative constituencies. Uh, and Michael, to what degree do you think that his uh, his uh, Mormon faith had an impact, especially given the fact that uh, the the huge showing that Huckabee had has had in the South, uh, largely uh, among uh, fundamentalist Christians, and there is really uh, an enormous. Uh, 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 divide in animosity uh, be, uh, between many fundamentalist Christians uh, and the Mormon Church. Yeah, there is one, and I think there was always a suspicion there among some, but uh, I, would, I would say that it wasn't quite as big a factor as it might have become. <clears throat> uh, in exit polls that I was looking at from some of the uh, uh, Super Tuesday races, particularly in some of the states down south, Romney did pretty well among evangelical voters, voters who said that they were part of the religious right. 
Um, Huckabee won those, but Romney finished second among those voters uh, in most of those states, well above McCain, and not too far behind Huckabee. So I don't think that became as much of a factor as just the fact that Romney was uh, too chameleon-like. And of course, Romney uh, of Bain Capital, now they're buying Clear Channel, uh, owns <laughs> over 1,200 radio stations around the right. country. So maybe when he tries again in 2012, he'll uh, be a little better positioned. Uh, Michael, I'd like to ask you about a recent article you had about the Republican Party uh, in general in the New York Review of Books, where you basically sort of uh, identify the party as having three uh, major wings in it, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the theoconservatives, the neoconservatives, and the anti-tax radicals, uh, and the interplay between them. Could you, could you talk about